Welcome to another Prezi tutorial video on the elements and in this video tutorial we'll be looking at the icon box. Essentially the icon box integrates three elements. It takes our icon, text as well as a button and combines them into one workable element. You still have full control over these three elements within this combined element what makes it great though is that you have everything combined into one and you can move and style it very conveniently. Here we have another example of the icon box. In this example we have deleted the button. And over here a very similar effect again, icon, our text and a button down below. Let's build out one for ourselves. We bring in a blank block, then we go to add elements and grab the icon box element over here. Simply click and drag it and drop it. And the moment it enters, you can already see the similarities between the default setting and the way it has been styled up here. Let's quickly look at a tip that you have to keep in mind when working with the icon box. It's most probable that you will be working with the icon box to make similar icon boxes like these up here to repeat something. So if you're going to do that, make sure that you style everything first. Also go into your tablet and into your mobile responsiveness and style them there before you make a copy of this one. Let's look at the elements within this. Like I've mentioned earlier, you've got three elements. You've got an icon, you've got text, and you've got a button. All three of these can be styled separately. If you click on the icon, you can change the icon, the position of the icon, the size of the icon, also custom sizing over here, as well as the space between the icon and these two elements over here. You can also apply a background if you would like to do so. All the styling elements of the icon is over here. That's the same for the text. If you go to the text, make sure to go check out our text video as well, because it will tell you everything you need to know about styling the text you can add different levels of text in here. So if I want to add a heading and call this heading one, simply by pressing enter or return on your keyboard, you've created a new heading. So I can style this one separately with a separate color. Great, and then for the button, same thing again, you can change the button, you can change the icon of the button, remove it or place it on different sides and style it. Go again and see the video on our button video tutorial. I'm going to place this button over here. Let's change the color a little bit for the background, similar to the text. Let's change this one as well while we're using that dark blue. Before you copy this and bring it into the other column, it's highly advisable that you go into your tablet view first and make sure that it displays on the tablet the way you would like it to display. Same for your mobile. And if everything looks good there, then you go back Go up to the text container, duplicate, and then drag and drop it. Now you've got two columns. It's as simple as going to the column and then duplicate the column to bring in more of those icon boxes. And now all you need to do is to change the content of each box and make it look good like these icon boxes we have here. And that's as great as it is. Two more things. You can duplicate your button. So if you need two buttons, you can just simply duplicate them. If you want to go to the extreme, you can duplicate as many as you want. I don't see when you will use that, but the option is there. The other function is that you can also delete them. So if I go to this button and I click on it, simply click on the trash can and delete it. However, that is irreversible. You cannot bring it back unless you still have Control Command Z on your keyboard, you can bring it back. But once you've deleted it and saved it, it is gone. And that will allow you to do this kind of display like we have over here. The sky is the limit with the icon box. And the great thing about the icon box is it is available in both the free and the pro versions of Brizzy. For more video tutorials on the elements of the Brizzy builders in both the free and pro versions, make sure you subscribe here to our YouTube channel. Also, go and join the Facebook community and visit us at brizzy.io.